God does not forget but men can forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men God uses men to lift God uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by Joseph and Joseph made a plea and said I am in this prison but I am innocent I don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the Pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the one presser forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the Bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can I tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can I pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God through help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now i declare liberty There is a lady I'm praying for you by the Spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be 
this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of these spirits will completely abort that agenda in the name of jesus right now i'm praying bring them out that's right Mandika parus ketikata, e preketo shida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you, in this false spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. There are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals i'm still praying i don't know why god is showing me women i know that this affects both men and women but i'm seeing women i'm still praying right now every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now. And I want you to pay attention. There is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces hadassah or esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king ahasuerus and mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten I'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can I tell you this God does not forget but men can forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the one presser forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of god he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so i want to pray for you now when i came into this city i found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you 
and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God through help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered uh, we will do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ we'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer It is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 
believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape December 2021 therefore I prophesy to the east I prophesy to the west I prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is I gravitate it towards your destiny Any organ that is failing or has failed in your body I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a brand new organ in your body now not just a healing of the current one a brand new organ in your body now blind eyes open now in the name of jesus someone has received a miracle there is that a miracle someone from crutch the crutches are lifted is that a miracle if that's a miracle that's fine otherwise if he's lifting it by faith he can stand there and receive something has happened there what well, we promise that we will not take oh there in the name that is above all names there's someone your right ear it looks i don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it i command that ear to be open now every blood disease in the name that is above all names we declare the cleansing of your blood now hear me please if there is anyone here with any troubling genotype i stand by the god of heaven and i declare let there be a supernatural change of your genotype believe it in the name of jesus christ any lump in or growth in any area of your body breast lump abdominal lump lumps around your body i cause that growth right now I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. There's someone I'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers. You're not able to move your hands freely. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone with a severe pain around your kneecap. You're having a severe pain around your kneecap. The power of God is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ laying my hands upon these requests as a representation the most accurate representation of your desires I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be supernatural answers let there be supernatural answers now arise O oh lord would you come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness celebrate the Bible says, he that told you have asked for nothing. It says, ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. I decree and declare, whatever has robbed your joy as represented here, you will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. You will never see it in your life again. I declare unto you by the power of the word of God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent that must come in partnership with the Spirit of God 
to make for answers to this prayer we compel their ministry right now and whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered may their own prayer be answered in the name of jesus christ sincerely i pray for you may god shift systems and shift structures for the sake of your request and whoever said where is your god may god use the answers to this prayer to answer them back in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this request and i declare that everything that has stood over you in the name that is above all names we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we command speedy answers to this prayer in the name of jesus speedy answers to this prayer in the name of jesus christ please stand we're wrapping up let me speak finally over your life and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible says that you may abound to every good work that means whatever spiritual engracing that will be required to make for your efficiency it is within the power of god to supply to the uttermost i decree and declare every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency every anointing every mantle every supernatural supply of grace whether as wisdom whether as favor whether as counsel whether as might whether as the grace for dominion in the name of jesus let it come upon you now whatever has left your life that should not have left the bible says son of man can these bones live again he was not even seeing the bones he was saying would live because they were scattered and fragmented he says only thou knowest then he said prophesy to these bones and the prophet said i prophesied as commanded and there was a sound i stand like ezekiel i prophesy as commanded everything that has left your life let it come back to perfect order now let it come back to perfect order now the bible says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon never to return again i pray for you whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit in the name of jesus may god connect you to them <laughs> hallelujah exodus chapter 2 and verse 15 b and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 of the same chapter 2 and the king loved esther the bible says more than all the virgins and the bible says he took her he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashti the favor that enthrones in the name of jesus let it rest upon your life exodus 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty whatever makes for emptiness in your hands in the name of jesus may the favor of god stop that season of drought in the mighty name of jesus I pray for you even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit 
the grace that makes for visibility it says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light illumination to all who are in the room many of you are gifted many of you have been marvelously helped of god but there is no visibility to announce you in business in ministry those who need what you carry do not even know you are there i pray for you right now from where you are may you rise to an elevated position of visibility hallelujah my bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him i pray for you those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures who will not give you access because they do not like you may the father of spirits manipulate their heart to your favor in the name of jesus christ because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i pray for you the grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries may that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life in the name of jesus have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born it says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son i declare speed to your accomplishments speed to your accomplishments in the name of jesus christ psalm 112 verse 1 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands the bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth i pray for your children in the name that is above all names you will never give birth for sorrow you will never give birth for pain in the name of jesus christ every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents we crush those spirits right now The Bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. I decree and declare, not only your children, but your children's children. Let the heritage of being blessed follow them. Then my Bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house. Listen, I have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned. The prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence the bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat is that true and that he that waters will himself be watered yet there are times like i've taught you where you can have a healthy net oh peter there are times where your boat is okay there are times you are even at sea and your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish because it is not of him that will it nor of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy at that time you need beyond your skill you need the advantage of the prophetic the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was she preserved i decree and declare by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic step into strange dimensions of the abundance of God. When they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. It says, he that receives a prophet as touching the office of that prophet, there are possibilities that follow every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven. No man sent by God comes empty. There are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor, you can be a partaker of that grace. I stand by the God who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and I 
pray for you experience the marvelous hand of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ last prayer point it says thou shall call Joshua in whom there is the spirit and thou shall anoint him and thou shalt take some of thy honor and place on him you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another and there is a grace that makes for honor just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life when god places that grace upon you even kings will entreat your favor in the name of jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in christ and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of jesus christ by this impartation every semblance of shame and reproach let it be torn apart and taken out of your life in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray let's celebrate jesus with a a, a hand clap and a shout in one minute hallelujah praise the lord